Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a second update for my project Level Up. This project, as most of you probably know, is a project that I created um, not last year, the year before. I've been doing this now for a couple of years and I'm loving this project. I know a lot of you guys love it too. Uh, but basically this project entails of different levels and the further you go up in levels, the harder it gets. For each level you have to hit two specific goals. One of them is using every single eyeshadow in the palette uh, a specific amount of times. And then the second one is to hit uh, pans or some people can have altered the goals and has higher usage goals on specific eyeshadows instead of hitting pans, which is completely fine. Some people are doing this project on the product level up light, which is kind of that thing with the usage. So right now I am on level two, which means that for the palette that I'm currently working on, I need to use every single eyeshadow in the palette two times and I need to hit two pans. So I'm going to share with you the palette that I've been working on. Uh, it's definitely a difficult one. Um, it's a Sydney Grace palette. And if you know Sydney Grace formula, you know that's really, really difficult to hit pan on. But I'm going to share with you how I'm doing and what progress I have on the palette. Um, and you'll share with you the palette itself as well. But before I jump into that, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. <laughs> But before I'm talking about the palette, I actually also want to let you know that I have a playlist down below with everyone else who's doing this project. Um, and it's like a collaboratory playlist since the beginning of when I started this project. So if you want to binge Product Level Up, you can check that out down below. But the palette that I've been working on for the last month is the California Coast palette from Sydney Grace. Uh, I'm going to roll the footage here of what this palette looked like uh, when I first rolled it in. I had a little bit of use on it, but not too much. I had only used it a handful of times. Um, so this is what the color story looks like and the swatches of the palette too. So you can see um, kind of what the layout is. So hopefully you've seen the swatches and now you're looking at what the palette looked like last month. And this is what this palette is today. So you can see the progress right there um, and the differences in the palette. But of course, as always, after showing you the overview, I'm also going to go through each shade in order. So I will also have the pictures up here so you can see the difference in the palette just side by side. But let's go through the shades. So the first shade in the palette is this beautiful light shimmer. It's like a pinky champagne light shimmer called Half Moon Bay. And this is one of the shades that I focused in on in the past month to try to hit pan on. And as you can see right there, I was able to pan on this eyeshadow, which is very exciting. It took me quite a long time. Um, it took me 18 uses to pan on this eyeshadow, and it was a really easy one to reach for. I reached for it all over my lid a lot of times, and it went with a lot of other things that I'm panning. I really, really love this eyeshadow and the tone of it, and it was beautiful as like an everyday office look. I could wear this one on its own or pair with other things, and it worked really, really nicely for those like everyday looks. So yeah, it was really fun wearing this one. And as you can see, I was able to pan on this one again, um, so that is the first pan for my level two. Next to that, we have the shade Laguna, which is a cliche or like a transition shade for me at least. Um, it is this beautiful kind of pinky sandy kind of shade um, and as you can see i was able to pan on this one too this one was definitely one that took a lot of hard work as well to pan on again Cine Grace formula is your serious business when it comes to hitting pan on them uh, luckily for me this was one of the shades that i wanted to focus on anyway because i just love these type of tones especially in my crease um so i knew i wanted to focus in on this one and lucky again for me this actually is quite powdery it's one of the most powdery to the grace mattes that I've tried so far um, and I think that's the only reason why I was able to hit pan on it in a month. I haven't told you yet but this one took me 21 uses to hit pan on so still a lot of work. Um, just to let you know as well I did pre-fill my last update a little bit. I think it came up like two weeks before my um, before posting it so it has been a little bit over a month since um, filming that so obviously I had some extra time with this palette which is great and I think that's the only reason as well that I was able to hit those two pans. But yeah you can still see 21 uses is quite a consistent use um, and I did reach for it almost on a daily basis throughout the weeks apart from when I did my like free looks on palette with my Big Fight Eyeshadow Project palette. So yeah this was definitely a reoccurring eyeshadow that I reached for all the time and luckily again I was able to hit pan on it. Honestly, for the rest of the palette, it's going to be quite quick to go through because the rest of the shades are used two times each. Um, yeah, I really like the shades and I did, of course, do a free look on palette with this one too in my Big Fat Eyeshadow project. And that update went up earlier this week. So yeah, you can check that video out if you want to see what looks I made with this palette. Um, I made three different looks. Um, so yeah, I used some of the shades there and obviously the remaining uses I just incorporated with other shades I was working on to hit those two uses on the rest of the shades. But 
Since I have used all of the other shades two times and I have hit those two pans, that means that I'm leveling up from this palette, which is very exciting. I wasn't really expecting leveling up so fast with this palette because I know Cindy Grace formulas, again, is really, really difficult to work with. Or not to work with, they're actually really lovely to work with, but just difficult to pan on because they're very pigmented um, and just very kind of firm pressed, but it's still, like, it's firm pressed, but it still gives a lot of pigment and you don't need too much, which is usually why this one takes, or what their formula takes a lot longer to hit pan on. But lucky, again, for me, the formulas in here were a little bit softer than other ones, especially that matte. So this one is now going to roll out. So since I am rolling that out, I am, of course, also going to roll in a new palette. And I do have my product level up wheel right here with all of the options. I have two of them marked uh, as black because those are the two palettes that I worked on for, for level one and level two. I'm really excited to pull out the new palette to see what I get. And um, I do have three vetoes throughout the year. So if I pull something that I really don't want to work on, I can veto it, but I try not to. And I'm, like in the past couple of years in this project, I haven't vetoed, I think, anything. So I'm going to try to stick with that. But if I do pull something... Just know that I have the right to veto if I want, but I'll try not to. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the first, well, not the first palette. I'm going to roll the palette that is hopefully going to be my level three, and we'll see what I get. At Foresight, okay, that's Colourpop, and it's mainly matte. That's going to be quite hard to pan on again. But I'm up for the challenge. I'm going to pull that one in and show you what it looks like and kind of match and plan on what I will work on. So the palette that I am rolling in, of course, is the At Foresight palette from uh, Colourpop in collaboration with Raw Beauty Christie. This is a palette that got uh, passed down to me from my friend Martina. Um, but um, it's a lovely palette. It doesn't have any pans at the moment. I will insert the footage here of the palette as well as the swatches so you can see what it looks like. But again, it has mainly mattes. It has two shimmers and then like one kind of sequin shade is the black shade in the palette is more of a sequin shade it has it's a black with like i don't know rusty kind of sparkles through it but yeah most of the shades in here are mattes i need to hit three pans and use everything in here three times and straight up i feel like what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to target at least one of the shimmers if not both um so this is the shade evergreen and west coast um evergreen is more of a kind of green kind of it's almost like a brown to green shifty shade but it's not very shifty and i think that one might be quite easy to panel we'll see and then we also have the shade what was it called again west coast which i think i would have wanted to work on but i also have something similar in my panel palette so maybe that they would cross over but i guess i could depend on this one and then work on that shade later in the year i don't know but i guess those two would be two easy choices Otherwise, what's in this palette that's kind of drawing me in is maybe the shade Old Growth, which is kind of similar to the shade in the California Coast palette. Um, the one in the middle there, I guess, is a little bit warmer and a little bit um, deeper. But yeah, similar vibes, so maybe that's another option. Because I did really enjoy working on the shade Laguna, um, so maybe that one. And um, also, otherwise, I'm also looking at like these two shades here. I think those would be beautiful. Like This would be an everyday kind of cream shade. And this yellow tone here, I do love wearing yellows as well. And it would also pair quite nicely with my panda palette. So those are kind of my action plans. I'm going to probably stick with the more like boring shades to try to hit pan on. But I'm also really excited to start reaching for these more colorful shades because I have had two more, I guess, neutral leaning for level up palettes. I guess the Stone Wise palette, which I had for level one, had a few more colorful shimmers. But overall, that's more of a neutral palette still for me. So I'm excited to have something a little bit more colorful to play around with. But that is going to be my level 3 palette, and that's also going to be this update. Let me know what you think I should focus on in this palette, and let me know if you think I'm going to be able to hit panel off like three shades in the next month, or if this palette is going to take me a little bit longer. I really hope you have enjoyed this update. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And otherwise, I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.